Okay, you're given four points in the Cartesian coordinate plane, labeled A, B, C, and D. And you're asked to use some geometry to evaluate the definite integral from 0 to 11 of the function created by joining A with B, B with C, and C with D. So the first thing to do would be to draw a diagram. Well, here's the diagram. Okay, created on Desmos. Uh, four points and segment AB, BC, and CD. Here is a piecewise function that describes that, that function. Uh, if you want the equation of this segment right here, you could use this point and this point to calculate the slope, which would be 8 fifths, 2 minus a negative 6 over 5 minus 0. And the y-intercept is negative 6. And then if you wanted to find this point right here, you could say, well, when y is 0, x is uh, 15 fourths, it looks like. Which, that's the coordinates of this point right here. And similarly, if you want the equation of this segment, or the line passing through those two points, calculate the slope. And then use point slope, you end up with y equals negative 4x plus 22 if you put it in uh, slope-intercept form. And when y is 0, x is 11 halves, there's that point of intersection. Now, why are we finding these? Same, same deal for this segment. I won't go through the details. But why are we finding the coordinates of those points? So that we can find the length of each base of these four triangles or four areas. Any area of the x axis, so that's areas, a sub 1 and a sub 3. And a sub 2 and a sub 4 will be positive areas. You can see that if we just evaluate the piecewise function using the definite integral function on Desmos. Oh, I didn't get that captured, did I? Let's see if I go move this to the right a little bit. Uh, there it is, negative 20. We get an answer of negative 20. It's the total area. Uh, here's how you find the area of region 1 or triangle 1. 1 half, the base, which is 15 fourths, times the height, which is 6. And I put a negative sign in front because I can see that that triangle is under the x-axis. And similarly, you do the same type of things for A2, A3, and A sub 4. There's A sub 1. There's A sub 2, positive. A sub 3, negative. A sub 4, positive. And there's the sum of those four areas, matching what we got using the definite integral function on Desmos. Okay, so again, to calculate the length of this base, it's 5.5 minus 3.75. The height is this y value right here because we're going perpendicular from the vertex to the base. Similarly, the height of this triangle is 6. And the length of that base is this number. Take away this number. Okay, so pause the video. Make some notes about how these areas were calculated. And you'll have it. There you go. If you have any questions, post a comment.